Good morning everyone, it's my birthday! Happy birthday! I've got birthday cards, I'm just opening um, this one, this one is from my in-laws and it says may your day be as magical as a unicorn farting rainbows <laughs> and then of course Ali got me a little meowma card, a little yawning meowma. My husband has done me an iced lemon and ginger tonic in bed and also a coffee, which I'm finishing off now. My hair is a hout mess. I don't really know what's going on with that. He asked me what I wanted to do this morning, and I said I want to go for a birthday run. Yep. This is 32 people. I can't believe I'm 32. Oh my God. Sing louder, Lummy. I can't hear you. Happy birthday. Oh, did I wake you up with my singing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This is what happens after you film one IGTV and a TikTok as well. I need to do that thing where um, I throw the grenade in. Hold on, wait, let's see if I can do this on uh, here. Let's do it with this one. I hope it doesn't smash. I'll try and throw it there. All right, let's roll out. Fire in the hole. <gasps> My nonna just phoned me um, after I'd finished filming my IGTV. My phone has been going, obviously it's lovely when it's your birthday because so many people get in contact. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy As I played that, you are getting a cameo, uh, what was it, a solo rendition of Happy Birthday in my vlog. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, my, my nonna rang me, bless her, she's so bored. Because my nonna has Alzheimer's, so he doesn't really know who she is. He certainly doesn't know who I am anymore, um, but he forgets who she is, and so she finds it quite lonely, and I'm guessing that she's more lonely now than ever. So I try and call her as much as possible, but yeah, bless her. Awesome. It's my nonno's birthday next week. He doesn't know it's his birthday. Um, and then it's my uncle Carlo's birthday the following week. So lots of birthdays, all the April babies. Right, I'm gonna respond to everyone's text messages now because I don't wanna be rude. My friend Danny just sent me this. And this is the night that she swilled me with her porn star martini. I've filmed a TikTok this morning. I have shot an Instagram image and put it up of me wearing my favorite half penny dress. I'll not put it on screen, instead go over to my Instagram and go and see it there. Um, my TikTok has currently been taken down though, so I'm uh, waiting to hear about that. I've also filmed an IGTV, so that's good. So I'm going to treat myself to a cookie. Uh, these were sent to us, by the way, uh, from The Good Cookie. Is that what it's called? The Good Cookie? Good Cookie Co? And these are like vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, refined sugar-free. Oh, yeah, cool. So yeah, I think I've worked really hard this morning. I should be having lunch, but when it's your birthday and you are a birthday queen, you can have cookies. I'd say that I definitely love the um, original and the pecan ones the best. They like cakey cookies. I'm taking up Ali a cookie. I did have a little nibble of his one and then I bit my lip when I was doing so, so I've learnt my lesson. Oh, delivering me cookies on your birthday. I had a nibble of it. And I bit my lip, so I got my karma. I have also got some deliveries. <laughs> so I've just got this um, little birthday card from Ali's uh, nieces, Pippa, Phoebe and Penny. And, oh, Ali, there's one for you here. And this one looks like my mum to special daughter to dearest Lydia, happy Easter and Above all, happy birthday. Lots of love, always mummy. Good afternoon, everyone. I have very tired eyes because I probably um, got up slightly before I was ready to today, but I'm almost finished for the day at work. I've been very, very productive. I feel like I need to have a little bit of a chat because I always feel this way and like, I don't know why, but it's reached that point where like, I'm seeing all over social media and people are saying like, you know, you don't have to be productive. Like it's not a productivity contest. 
And it's so strange because it's like, what if being productive is your, like, your way of coping and it isn't someone trying to, like, project, like, their levels of productivity onto anyone else. It's just knowing that I'm not, like, just sat twiddling my thumbs and I'm still able, like, literally, I have no work on at the moment. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, I... All of like like the the things I was working on are no longer happening, and so I'm creating work for myself because it makes me nervous to not work, and that's just how like I am able to navigate this. And I always feel like it's really strange the way that people they turn other people's way of coping. You just have to do whatever it is that makes you able to cope with what is currently going on. So if sitting in bed and tapping away at your laptop, maybe writing something, but like not getting dressed that day, if that's how you cope, do that. If not working at all and just sitting on the sofa and watching a program that makes you feel good or your favorite series of Netflix that makes you feel good, do that. If baking or learning a language makes you feel good, do that. If being productive and setting yourself tasks and doing all of the things that you've wanted to do for a very, very long time, make sure you do that too. Because there's no right or wrong way to cope in this situation. And when someone is sitting on the sofa and, and watching Netflix, I don't ever take that as like a personal thing at me that, oh, it makes me feel bad for working. Like, oh, I, I, I feel like victimized because I'm still working. Like, why isn't my work done? It's just, I look at that and I'm like, that's how that person copes. And you don't have to feel bad for not having all of your work done and you carrying on to work. And just like, you don't have to feel bad for not wanting to work at this time. And I think it's sad because you never have to like, like seeing all of these things on the internet, like who feels like it's a, productivity contest like no this is just how I cope and I know that if I stop I won't be able to cope and I will get very sad so I'm just plodding along doing all of the things that I've always felt I'm not able to do because of work being here there and everywhere and I don't even go that many places but just one day out of the office a month a week and one or two trips a month I found really disruptive to my workflow and so now my workflow is just unreal like I'm able to achieve so much and I'm learning more about myself and I'm learning about how I work well and you're learning about you and you're learning about how you work best and how you cope and I think we could all just be a little bit less like it's almost like competitive and it, this should not be a time for thinking competitively it's just thinking about how you cope and I cope by setting myself tasks and keeping myself busy. Just because that's not how everyone else copes doesn't make it wrong. I hope that you bear that in mind because I'm sure it's quite confusing for lots of people that are seeing things online. Like one minute it's like, you know, learn a new language and the next minute someone's like, being productive is making me sad. And it's like, oh my goodness, just do what makes you happy. Do what keeps your brain functioning with how you need it to and just do what works well for you because that's what I'm doing and it's hard even for me and I'm like the most I, like I know myself so well and I'm able to just do what I know works for me but when I see this stuff I'm like oh my god I feel bad like a, a, a me, is me ticking things off my to-do list is that is that making other people sad oh my goodness like I would never want that it's just it's how I work well and it's how I cope I wanted to just make sure that I'm reminding everyone that like you don't have to put someone else down in order to make yourself feel better just cope and just do your thing and bake your banana bread if you want to bake your banana bread and learn French if you want to learn French and watch the whole series of Lion King, no, Tiger King, if that's what you want to do. Just do what you got to do. But I think my best friend is on her way over to drop off my birthday cake. I have not seen her in over a month. In the last like three or four years, that will be the longest that I have not seen my best friend. Literally, I've seen her on like FaceTime and stuff, but I've not... Uh, seen her in person and that is a record for us. So she's dropping it round, we're obviously doing like a drop and go scenario, two meter distance, social distancing, but she wanted to bake me a cake and she has been completely quarantined by herself 
since she got back from her trip. Hello! <laughs> Put the goods on the floor and step away. <laughs> okay, I have your card too. Nice skirt. Really? Your real present hasn't arrived yet. So this was my birthday cake that Carrie dropped off at the door, and Ali and I have had four time tea time today. And then we also had our joint birthday present arrive from Ali's manager, James. He always gets us Fortnum and Mason hampers and they make us very, very happy. This is also a gift that Carrie bought me back from um, Nepal, which I think is brilliant. Nepal. <laughs> it says, my friend was in Nepal and all I got was this bloody t-shirt. And she also got me some tea masala, which is spice, a spice mix for masala tea. And then she also got me this for all of the gong baths that I have in the basement. So that's going to go into the yoga studio. <laughs> and now... What's it normally gong for? It's a, a gong bath, like the sound. Yeah, it's supposed to be relaxing. Yeah, like you do it and it goes Ooh, and like the yeah, vibrations yeah, are really I, nice. I remember they're outside the spas in the But we're going to order pizza. On the app, because it's only taking the app. Okay, so shall I do that now? Yeah, We're going to get a Domino's. <laughs> You're going to get a meat pizza. No. Well, it is actually, yeah, but what one? The, so I always get the, the um, barbecue, don't I? But you'll get, no, you get the, beef, the burger one. I'm going to do my Domino's order. Do you know what? I'll never forget the time that I saw Patricia Bright do a, a sponsorship with Domino's Pizza, and I've never been more jealous in my life. She came to Milton Keynes. She made her own pizzas at their head office. Her and Mike, I've never been more jealous of that sponsorship in my life. Also updated my O2, so now I've got unlimited data on my O2, so I can use my phone more to upload videos. We've also got internet back, which yes. is great. Oh. My computer started telling me I need to update stuff. Yeah, so good. All deliveries contact free, cash no longer accepted, delivery only, no collection. Deliver to me. Oh, we get that Hoover on the go? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try it, try out the Hoover. I did say I was gonna do this in the other vlog, but that vlog apparently is a million oh, years no. long. I heard George say three and a half hours of footage. <laughs> Oops. But I just lose my place on vlogs and I just talk so much and I always feel like I've got so much to tell you that I forget. But let's have a birthday test out of my new Hoover and also we need to open that um hamper. Yes. Oh, I haven't shown them what you got ah. me for my birthday either. Oh yeah, <laughs> Well, no, I haven't got it, but I've got a picture of it. Yeah, you've got proof. I'm, I love it. It's such a thoughtful gift as well. I love it. Anyway, test this hoover out then. Well, shoot, I've got an idea. Let's open this. This creates lots of... Oh, uh, yeah, good shout. So this is the Fortnum hamper. I believe it's called the Fortnum. It's a nice bow, that. And this is such a nice little picnic basket as well. Yeah, I thought that was actually it's different to what we've had Ooh. before. <gasps> Biggies. Pistachio and clotted cream biscuits. Ooh. Wow, that sounds good. He's always trying to fatten us up, you see. He is. Fruit cake. Lovely. Um, all butter crackers, good for cheese night. Yes, good. Ooh, I saw fudge. Oh, no, I didn't. Chocolate pearl biscuits. I don't know why I thought what I pearl? Pearl, yeah. Ooh, champagne truffles. Nice. Oh. I like champagne truffles. There is. Another layer. Oh wow. Ooh. Strawberry preserve. Nice. I'm about halfway through the other one of those from Christmas. Oh really? It is. Like there's a proper another layer. Wow. So this is like a, a real afternoon tea yeah. hamper. Oh Ooh. decent. Whole grain piccadilly. Yeah. This is amazing. That's piccadilly. I think the other one was piccadilly. mustard. No, this is whole grain mustard. Yeah. Oh, Piccadilly whole grape. Yeah, and this then this is the... Piccadilly. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh, are these chocolate almonds? <gasps> Cocoa dusted milk chocolate almonds. Never mind. Classic yes. Earl Grey, Lucy. Good. We could do some of that. Wow. Thanks, James. Wow. Wow. Here she is. Ooh. Oh, that's satisfying. Ew. 
it can go from being a long to a handheld. Oh wow, well, yeah. I don't think this is quite long, you know. So you can actually have it, so this head is halfway down. Right. So look. I think this is good though. Oh yes, yeah, so you kind of swap it out. I like so if it's a bit heavy at the top, you could change it yeah, so it's in the middle. Good. So you yeah. take the weight away and it also put, probably put more weight onto the ground because it's lower. Yeah. So it will help with putting a bit of force down. Light. Yeah, it's got headlights, so you can see where you're going. So you can clean at 10 p.m. That is handy. Well, in the winter months, actually, and like going under places like the chair by the front door is quite handy. I like it. I love the light. So you can you can see what's in there. Yeah. So you can see if there's something that's got caught. Yeah. You can't stand it up if it's way too big. Right. Quickly. Push that straight through. And then it, that slots into there. Other way. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Ah, oh, I see. Look. That's your little guider. Yeah. That goes onto that like this. Ah. So you push it, you have to get it on there early. Yeah. And then push it down. And then the handle. And then the handle goes on. Oh my gosh. So a little connection. Then, yeah, so now I think that looks a lot nicer. Yeah, and then balance wise, it's a lot easier. Yeah, because you can stand it up. Yeah. But it's so, so do you know why they do that? They give you that functionality. So if you want to get the head right, right underneath, underneath something, you can. Yeah. So you do have that ability, but actually, I think that's really more comfortable. It doesn't yeah. feel as heavy, does it? No, it's much easier to use. Like yeah, this. I think it looks better like that as well. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what thirty-two looks like we are reviewing a hoover on my birthday video <laughs> well it's a bloody nice hoover it is a very very nice hoover and mila do such i'm a good big fan of mila same i mean you do know that they have that iconic red cord hoover it's like a red well i don't know if they're always red but as a, as a child when i was growing up the one that we always used to have was red i have henry <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's slightly different levels Henry's very, very good, but it's more commercial. Yeah, it's like for like industrial. Yeah. I've never had so many people be like, as an appliance brand, Mila like lasts forever. Oh, really? Yeah, like forever. But it's that That's German good. engineering, isn't it? Okay, we have just discovered that you can charge, charge it, it just as it is. As it is. You, you don't this. have to remove the battery. It yeah. has a cable yeah. that comes in it and you just plug it in the bottom like that. And we have like plug sockets in our like yeah. utility cupboard. Yeah. So. Perfect. You Nothing. like it, Lummy? You like it? He always thinks if I'm, if I'm doing anything, it must be for her. Yeah. <laughs> Birthday Domino's is in the building. We've gone for garlic bread, cookies, and a pizza each. Each, and of course, the big garlic dip. Standard. Oh, so looking forward to this. Babe, do you have a pizza party in the living room? Okay. I'm on it. A mine. And a spare garlic dip because you always need more. I'm gonna go get a dressing gown on as well. <laughs> so excited. Thank you. There's some napkins. Thank you. So excited. Can I drink? Mm. You've got three large garlic dips and two small ones as well. So what's in there? Mm. Uh, garlic bread. Oh yeah, we need some garlic bread. I'm cooking. How are we going to be kithing if you got a garlic bread? When did we last get a Domino's? Oh, that's with Timothy, wasn't it? We ruined Timothy's um, diet because we got Domino's. Did we really? Yeah. I'm really going to enjoy that. <laughs> now make me a coffee. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is the day after my birthday, and I am just doing the, like my makeup the same way that I did it um, for my birthday yesterday because I loved it so so much. Um, I'm utterly obsessed with this eyeshadow and also 
the banana lowlighter from Rodial. It's so funny, they came in and they were like, oh, um, we'd love to work with you on the banana lowlighter. And obviously I launched it, um, but I didn't realize they changed the packaging on it. And obviously we get so much stuff and I'm constantly trying stuff. This is actually the best under eye concealer I have ever used. I think that I'm gonna go as far as saying that, like it actually is. It doesn't move and it looks like skin. It doesn't look like concealer. It doesn't settle into creases. Like I filmed um, my IGTV and I was like, sugar, I can't believe I forgot about this product. Like you just kind of think a concealer is a concealer, but this is so good. I am honestly like so happy to have it back. This is something that like I'd put, like I'd buy myself rather than just being like, oh, I'll just use another concealer. It's incredible. I'm so happy that I've got it back. And I actually really like the new applicator as well. It's one of those things, I don't really like those clicky brushes as much as like the Touche Eclat is so iconic and I, it's, it's so good that you just use it. You never know when you're running out of product. It feels like you're wasting a lot of product and this I just love. But yesterday I kind of worked all day and I realized that I'm taking my birthday kind of in lieu. I don't know if I've told you this already in this vlog, but yeah, I think I'm gonna take my birthday in lieu. We planned to have a big birthday party. We were actually gonna have our wedding planner, uh, Nicole, plan a big birthday for us. Cause we just, we love having our friends over to our house. Like we absolutely love it and we wanted to have a big birthday. Obviously that changed and we couldn't do that, but I think we're gonna like, hopefully if we're all kind of done with this by like May or something, hopefully we can have a big summer like barbecue in the garden and just really kind of just enjoy ourselves and have all of our, like the people that we love around. And yeah, that's kind of what we want, we want to do. So we had a birthday dominoes, which was great. I loved it. I did some content yesterday and I um, shot an Instagram image, which obviously I told you about, and I also filmed a TikTok, but I'm really, I feel like I'm struggling. I'm gonna do like a story on TikTok in a minute because I feel like I'm struggling with the platform at the moment. Like in the beginning, I was like, I wanna do like fashion content and make sure that I'm like kind of keeping myself me, if you know what I mean. Like I don't wanna get caught up in the trend content because that's not what like I've ever done. And I, I, I'm struggling at the moment to be inspired by things that I come across on the platform. Like, I feel like I did like the shoe one and I've been doing some videos and I wanna share more like hacks and things like that, but I'm just struggling to find out where I fit in on the platform. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a little chat on um, Instagram a bit later and um, see what you guys think and what the kind of things you want to see. I know that a lot of people aren't on TikTok yet, but it's true, like when kids, pick up a platform, it, I mean, Ali's manager said this to us months ago, even my sister said it to us like years ago, like TikTok's like the best platform ever. And she's obviously like younger and then it moves into like the older audiences. But at the moment I'm just not finding a lot of content that I feel fits me. Like I can have a, a laugh and a joke at myself on there. Um, but doing like the, the dances and stuff, I just, I'm like, I'm not a dancer. And I also, I don't enjoy it. Like I don't enjoy that content, like lip syncing to something. I don't feel like what value it brings to me. So I'm trying, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm like having an internal conflict about it. Like, I totally get why people do it and ha why it does so well, but it's not everyone's gonna love the same thing. And for me, it's just, it's not, it doesn't fit with who I am, if that makes sense. So I'm just trying to, yeah, I'm trying to like find, where I fit in, but I'm gonna do some Insta stories and have a chat with you guys on there and see what it is that you're kind of looking for. And if I'm sort of wasting my time, kind of putting effort into something like that, because I don't want it to like cost me, like at the end of the day, my YouTube, my Instagram, my blog, that's what's important to me. I feel always feel guilty. I'm like making you guys go over and watch content when I could have easily just posted it on my Instagram. It's just, it's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Oh, I look like I've got, you know, <laughs> like those men that have like, hair on the sides of their head and then bald in the middle. That's like what I look, <laughs> look like at the moment, sorry. I also need to do my eyeliner. Hold on, I need to concentrate when I do this. I feel like this, weirdly, this um, eyeshadow makes doing my eyeliner easier. I don't know where this is coming from, but it just feels like my eyeliner is less messy and I make less mistakes. Oh, let me know if you've been watching my makeup tutorials on um, Instagram, uh, IGTV, I feel like I'm really enjoying doing them. In fact, we were just, Carrie and I were just talking on the phone and she was like, I can see how happy you are at the moment. And I am like, I, I know that obviously being in quarantine and I just want to see my family and I just want to see my friends and I want to be able to go and have like cheese and wine at Woburn Mosaic and, please, and things like that. But 
in the same breath like having a lot of the unnecessary pressures that come with this industry like going to events going on trips and which are obviously lovely pressures to have um, i'm not moaning but it takes away from me like doing this and so we've all kind of been talking about what the next steps will be when we come out of this like how do i intend on moving forward because i still want to like travel and i still want to do the trips but i want to make sure that it's not just i'm not just going on trips for the like the sake of going on trips which i think is very very easy to end up doing in this career like you can just fly from one place to the next to the next and i know for me i find it quite exhausting like and everyone's different like that's the 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 sort of most part and i think that most of you guys are people that are quite sort of like content at home and and living a sort of like i don't know what the word the word is because i never want it to come across like i'm saying that one thing is good and like what i do is good and another thing is bad do you know what i mean i, I always see content like that online and i'm like oh that's just inadvertently shaded me and i really like watching your content but i feel like you're literally shading me on the internet i followed some people online like people that i really liked and then i just feel like oh my god i'm watching your content and all it feels like is you're like shading me in your content and i know they probably aren't even talking about me but it's like if the shoe fits <laughs> and no one wants to feel like that when they're watching stuff so i'm trying to make it like everyone has their place in this industry and I'm kind of finding mine a little bit more because I, I always felt like there was a lot of things that I should do but actually I enjoy creating the content that I create and I haven't had this level of engagement, views, reach, all of my stats are like up and I, don't, I haven't had that, I usually only get that really around like vlogmas but even not on Instagram because Instagram has always been a platform that I've kind of neglected because I don't have the, the time, because I vlog so much, to always get pictures, if that makes sense, like really beautiful pictures. And I always was one, worrying that people thought that like me doing mirror selfies was lazy, but actually I'm realizing that you guys just wanna see my outfits and I just wanna share my outfits. And that's, I've created this really lovely room that I've designed and that's the whole point for me to have this room so I can show you stuff easily. And I don't need to faff about finding a beautiful London location in between meetings or going out and shooting and taking the fun out of being creative and creating an outfit. So yeah, one thing that um, we're really going to like sort of try and stop as much as possible is like meetings and stuff. And that's not because I don't want to like meet with all of the amazing brands that I get to work with. Like that's not it at all, but it's so for me so disruptive sometimes i'm like as much as i love this and i love like catching up a lot of the time i'm kind of like hearing about what the individual's been up to and i'm like this could have been a phone call like we could have ca catched up over phone over the phone and then i could have got on and done my thing and and then <sighs> so yeah at the moment we're kind of brainstorming and um trying to navigate how we're going to do this moving forward because as a creator i'm just I'm just maybe a bit different to other people and I don't feel like I need to travel and I feel happier knowing that I've got structure and routine and the tools around me that I need. It's exciting though. I feel like my whole love affair with this industry has been reignited, which is just a wonderful feeling. And I think that you guys have seen it too in my content. Like the amount of people that are messaging me is like, you seem so happy. And I realize that I, I was kind of going through vlogging and being like, this is what I'm doing, this is where I'm going. And I wasn't really connecting with you guys anymore. That has to change. That has to change. I want this to be conversational. I want you to have like an insight into my life. Like when Ali and I are sitting there having cheese board on a Friday night and it's like you having a chance to do that with us and me not feeling like, oh, I need a break from this, like no vlogging. Yeah, wow, that's some thoughts. Like I've literally just gone through the motions. Like TikTok, life, travel, work. <laughs> um, but I have a lot of things that I think about when I sit at my dressing table. I feel like I need to start like a hashtag. I love a hashtag starting. Like thoughts from my dressing table. <laughs> right, lips, everything else is done. This eyeshadow, I'm gonna link it in the description box. So nice. Um, lips today, 
the huge. Oh, I need to put some oil. Actually, you know I need to do my nails again soon as well. Um, also, I need to show you what um, Ali has got. Well, I know now what Ali got me for my birthday. Yeah, so I didn't actually ask for anything for my birthday this year. I didn't know what I wanted. Like, I bought myself the bag and blah, blah, blah. I didn't really know what I wanted. And so Ali kind of used his initiative and he has got me. I'll insert a picture of it on screen. Ding! He got me a Cartier pen to go with my Smithson, 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 Smithson diary because uh, I was using like horrible pens and people would be like you've got such a nice diary why are you using that horrible pen I'd be like it's a very good point I'm scared I'm gonna lose it because it's a very expensive pen so I don't think it will ever leave my house but it matches one of my watches and it's really 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 beautiful so um, I'm very very grateful for that because that is such a special and thoughtful and wonderful gift because he knows I love writing in my diary. Hold on, I'm just not going to talk to you whilst I'm doing this, okay? Hold on, give me two seconds. What should we put on our lips? I feel like I'm just going to put this on again. I wore this yesterday. I love, love, love this. It's a um, lip glaze, lip lacquer from Code 8. It's the closest one I found. It's a bit lighter to Lady Bear from uh by terry but it is glossier it's not as it's more it is a liquid lip but it's like a glossy liquid lip i did a whole like tutorial on this look though over on my uh instagram so if you did want to see it, oh my god i've been talking to you for like 14 minutes <gasps> guys sorry honestly george said to me like yesterday he was like is this one vlog not this one the last one i was like yeah why he was like there's like three hours of footage and I don't think there's any time lapses in this. I was like, oh, <laughs> sorry. It means at least we've got loads of good stuff. <laughs> oh, almost forgot my eyeliner. <laughs> Girl, I'm always forgetting your eyeliner. Makes you look awake. Et voila. Pinky, pinky, pinky. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get dressed and crack on with the day because that is my slogan right now. <laughs> I was just about to get dressed and the doorbell rang and it looks like some items that I ordered from Reese. Well, it definitely does because I ordered them yesterday and they arrived today, which was brilliant. I also have some gifting coming from them as well. Um, but these were two pieces that I really, really wanted and they came into stock yesterday. So I ordered them myself. I honestly, like both Ali and I are obsessed with um reese as a brand like it's one of those brands that's such a great mid-tier brand and like works so well in terms of like the quality but the price point but also the wearability because their stuff's really like simple and classic so um i'm gonna see if i can get into this bad boy this bad boy box and i might wear one of the items today so the first item that I ordered is my colour that I'm obsessed with at the moment. It's sort of a bit darker than the other mint green stuff that I have, but it's this jumpsuit. I love jumpsuits. And this was such a gorgeous colour and one shoulder. I think I'm going to pop this on today. Give it a good steam, um, which is lovely. And then I also got, hello, me. Oh, she doesn't often come into my dressing room. Um, this I could not, not buy. This little play suit oh my goodness how gorgeous is that imagine this with like chloe susanna boots and like just proper like boho accessories oh the color is like a gorgeous nude oh i want to wear that today as well oh i want to wear it all but yes yeah, so i ordered those and they came next day which is brilliant so um i'm gonna give this a little steam and i'm gonna show you what it looks like on as well <laughs> dressing room is a little bit of a mess but i've got the first jumpsuit on and it is very very nice and very comfortable oh i like it love the color um i've just done some stories downstairs as well and lots of people are saying that it's the exact same color as my eyes which i didn't even realize i've got very like turquoisey colored eyes which i didn't even think about that so thanks for pointing it out guys i hadn't even noticed i've also just had some parcels delivered and one of them i think is my birthday present from carrie and i've also had some flowers i don't know who they're from so let's go downstairs and open them <laughs> there we go some lovely little flowers let's get these open these are from marks and spencers lovely stuff so we have some um very beautiful pink and purple tulips i love tulips oh Happy birthday, Lydia. Thinking of you on your special day, 
sending love and best wishes from Angie B and Archie, which are my in-laws and their little doggy. Oh, very, very happy. Hello, old friend. This is my favorite incense ever. I was just sat in Ali's room in his office and I just got this like waft of the incense. I was like, oh, I need to burn that. I haven't burned it in ages. I usually burn it around this time of year. So I've lit myself one and it's filling the house. I love it. I'm gonna get my tulips into a lovely little bowl. I don't know why, I just always prefer tulips in a like fish bowl vase, like this one. I've actually only got this one fish bowl. I think I got it from the range. But these are my lovely flowers from my in-laws. So I'm gonna get these open. I would usually do this in my utility room, but the kitchen's just so lovely today. And then I'm gonna make some lunch, which is very, very, unexciting lunch, but it's gonna be some baked beans on toast with cheese. And I think that the kind of um, shortages around uh, food and things like that, I think it's kind of calming down now. Although you still can't get flour or anything like that, but I think we're sort of through the worst of it, I hope, and people are sort of realizing that food supplies haven't been hit yet. I mean, I guess they still could be, but you never know. Ooh. Get some of these leaves off first, though. Eh? Right. Random little bit of foliage there. <laughs> oh no, maybe it's for both. Okay, there's two, so let's pop that back in. Maybe it's just two. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's get some food in there and some water. There we go. Lovely. We have made progress. Ali is downstairs whilst it is still light outside, making dinner. Ali is the king of... Perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> what I was gonna say was Ali is the king of uh, making crispy potatoes, but to his own detriment. <laughs> A little gift, little gift, big gift has arrived from uh, the Bulgari team this morning, and then also some other pieces for a video that I'm filming with them. It's a little birthday treat here, I'd say, right before my run, which is lovely. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Let's just ignore these. I have just got back from a 7K run, although it was kind of like six um, and a half, and then I got a killer stitch, so I kind of hobbled the rest of the way home. It looks like I'm turning my kitchen into a florist. I'm making more ginger and lemon tonic. I've got some products that have been delivered from Bulgari because I'm working on a project with them. It's allowed when it's your birthday. I mean, apparently it's allowed when it's my husband's birthday as well, but whatever. I want to go to the local shop, the pub that's turned into a shop, because I want to get some more fruit. Um, I want to get some more strawberries and raspberries and things like that so I can make another straw uh, raspberry and lime cake. Um, but also just so I can have fresh fruit because I love it and we need more lemons and stuff like that. So maybe I'll see if Ali will jump on a bike with me later on this evening and head down there. But I'm gonna get washed because, ew. Look at the state of my eyes. I don't know what is wrong with me today, but I feel just, oh, I've got really itchy back. Do you ever feel like when you're itching your back, the like itch moves around your back? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't know what is wrong with me. Perhaps I overdid it on the run and um, I maybe tired myself out a little bit too much, but I'm like, oh, snuggled into a um, dressing gown because I feel a bit con. I just feel like, I feel like I could have a nap, and that is not like me. I have um, some ginger and lemon tea, freshly made this morning. I'm gonna have that, and then hopefully, I'm literally like counting down the minutes until like work finishes, and so I can just be like, I thought I'd show you the bits that were delivered from um, Bulgari. I'm basically doing a project with them. Will it go out? Yeah, it'll go out after this video. So I shouldn't really show you this stuff anyway. But, um, well, I'm only gonna show you one of the bits that I've, I've like. It's weird actually. I thought I was getting a different bag because I've actually got this bag already. So I didn't need to um, request this. So yeah, this they've loaned me the same, pretty much the same. Yeah, this is the same bag that I already have. So I don't need to feature that. I can just feature my own bag. But they've sent up some jewelry pieces and this ring, oh my goodness, I want this ring so badly. I've wanted this ring for a while. I hope it fits me. I feel like it goes really nicely with like my other items. It doesn't fit on my thumb, damn it. But it can go on like my, oh, that goes nice on there. It goes nicely. So if I was to wear that on that hand, 
and then I feel like all of my rings kind of go together nicely but I think I'd like it on my um thumb I feel like it's a good thumb ring yeah I like that and then I've got the necklace as well oh yeah that's cute and such a nice length of chain as well so you can stack it nicely because it's not too long and you can kind of adjust it but yeah these two little items of jewelry are so nice i love that you can you can kind of wear that as a choker as well don't know if anyone's noticed but i'm not wearing half of my jewelry at the moment it's because i took it off for an appointment it's why i like always wear my jewelry non-stop because i took it off for an appointment and i've not put it back on there's other items in this little um little haul that you'll see in the video there's also another bag as well but then this bag is for me oh should i open it in this video i feel like i can't open it in this video i i literally just hyped this up now but i've shown you a bit of the jewelry anyway i'll reveal the bag in the video sorry to be one of those people i have some other things that i can um open with you downstairs so we'll do that instead guys i am struggling today i feel like i slept really well last night but i'm guessing i didn't and i don't really know why but it's 6 30 i've still not opened my birthday present from carrie um and i need to do that i also should be cooking dinner um, I think I'm just gonna make cheesy pasta because it's easy cheesy easy goodness and maybe I need like some carbs after my run so yeah but sorry I'm not like excitable I should be when it's my birthday even though it's literally not been my birthday for two days now wow I am longing out this birthday vlog aren't I <laughs> oh my skin is so dry right now because I've been retinoling because my skin's not been great but now it's it's on the mend right oh I've definitely got a birthday card which I believe will be from my grandma, which I'm looking forward to. Oh, she's so cute. She knows I love her patchwork blankets. So it's a patchwork <laughs> card. I love it. Dear Lydia, with love from grandma and Laurie. Bless her. I remember when I was little, I used to like get my grandparents' cards and my parents' cards. I'd be like, <laughs> I was a very cheeky child. I understand that. Oh my God, this is so heavy. Very heavy, so I think I know what Miss Grayson has got me. And if she has got me these, then she's managed to get gold dust for my birthday, which I'm very impressed about. Okay, she has managed to get me gold dust. Oh my goodness. I literally said to her, like, are they colorful? She was like, they're gray. Gray and green. <laughs> <laughs> she's got me kettlebells for my birthday that was the only thing that i wanted really from my birthday because we don't have kettlebells in the gym and i do a lot of like kettlebell swings so this is a 8 kg one but that's very very useful for my tush so no more pancake but for lydia um in here is something that i've ordered myself because I've run out of camellia oil. I'm gonna try and, try and use some almond oil on my scalp tonight. I left my hair specifically so that I could do my oil again tonight and I'm gonna try the almond oil. I, someone also wrote on my video to try castor oil. So I've bought some castor oil from Amazon, a big one, and I'm gonna try that. And then I've also <laughs> randomly in here got an external hard drive that we need for work. Because obviously we are transferring a lot of files. Um, I've also had a delivery of flowers that I wanted to try out in the kitchen. So these should be some stems from Stiltsmiths of London. And I really liked, well, I thought that these would be good for in the kitchen, potentially. But also, they're like this deep red colour. I thought that these would be quite nice for the back bedroom and they've sent these gorgeous little bouquets of stems they come wrapped as if they're coming from like a florist but they're obviously faux stems this one doesn't want to stay doesn't want to stay um so i've got two of those that can be used in either the back bedrooms or um in the kitchen and i thought i'd try them out in the vase but i also wanted to try some pink in the vase, especially with the blueberries as well, because obviously my painting that um, I purchased has pink, um, what they call pink, what's the word? My brain's not working. Help me! Pink. 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 What are they? The ones that go 
Peonies. Bloody peonies. These might be a little bit too pink. But we'll see, we'll pop them in with the blueberries and see what they look like. But they look lovely, they just might be a touch too pink, but I'm not sure, they look great though. And they feel great as well. And I love the fact that like the heads are all different. So there's some that are partially open, some that are open, some that are still buds. I love that. And I love that it feels like it's sort of like a, a you're getting like a bouquet. Like you could send these as a gift and be like, I wanted to get you some flowers that wouldn't die and go moldy. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna make um, some dinner. I'm going to make mac and cheese. Well, I managed to do it. I made dinner and a very, very cheesy pasta bake. Now we just have to wait for Mr. Mill and Gordon to come down. But he did help me with tidying up a little bit. So that was very helpful. Um, but he's just having some business chats with his manager. I don't know what is wrong with me today. I'm sorry, guys. I feel like I'm not myself. I'm not myself. I'm going to have a, an early night, I think. An early night. Dinner has been demolished. But I thought I would put my almond oil onto my scalp with you guys. I mean, it's probably going to be riveting stuff here on the internet. But I wanted to get ready for, um, ooh, for bed. And... This is now an important part of that. I've not actually used the almond oil before though, so. Oh, these little pipette. I got this little pipette thing from Amazon and I put all my oils in these little pipette things so they're easier to put into my hair and like rub through. But it's so weird. I watch some people like apply products to their hair sometimes and I'm like, wow, if only I could do that. I would never be able to like, I have to use so much product to get it through my hair because it's just, I've got such dense, like hair growth and I never feel like I get this stuff all over my head as well it's really annoying hopefully the almond oil helps oh it's all dripping down my face <laughs> yeah hopefully the almond oil helps the camellia oil works really well as well I did google which oils work well and uh these were good ones but I'd like to try tea tree oil because obviously I love the tea tree in the um hair stuff that I've been using the function of beauty stuff it's so invigorating and so nice so maybe one day I'll try that. But this is going through nicely. I just wanna put loads on so that my scalp is nice and hydrated. But this is definitely the best my scalp has been for a very, very long time. No irritation whatsoever since I've started doing this. A little bit of dryness, but nowhere near as bad as it was. Right, that's kind of how I do it, but I'm gonna do the back, which is not gonna be very exciting for you guys, so. I'm gonna get this on and I will report back in, oh gosh, we're bright, but I will report back in the morning and let you know. Well, no, I probably won't. I'll report back in the next vlog because I'm finishing this vlog here and picking up the next one. <laughs> so I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.